Hey there, collective. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm just jumping on to do a collective reading. Okay, this will be uh, general, of course, as always. Don't try and make it fit if it does not. And look to your specific signs, or your, I'm sorry, your specific signs and placements, actually, for more information. All right, let's see what Spirit has for you. Angel of Expression. It says, speak your truth and express yourself clearly. Okay, you guys could be doing that. Um, or maybe there is a need to do that, to really express yourself when it comes to someone or a particular situation. What else, Spirit? All right, let's get into this. Yeah, wow, look at this. Now you have the angel of communication. <laughs> Something's up here. It says, don't be afraid to tell it like it is. Are you guys holding back or something here? You know, I'm wondering here. Or maybe you're going to, you know what I feel? It's like you're going to have the opportunity to really do this. You may be being confronted with something or needing to confront something. Now, if you're on a platform, obviously, this is just saying, don't sugarcoat. Okay, speak your truth, all right, about what you know or about whatever it is that you're conveying here, um, but be clear about it. But I feel like this is some, some kind of confrontation, not a bad way, okay, but a confrontation, some kind of opportunity to speak with someone. Someone may actually be coming in. This is Angel of Vision, okay? Someone is not revealing part of the story. Oh, wow. Trust your feelings over what others say. This is, okay. <laughs> How interesting. Okay, so you have two cards here of expression, communication, and then one over someone not communicating. I'm sorry, over one uh, not communicating the full story, okay? It is definitely telling you to trust your feelings when it comes to this. I'm, I'm telling you, somebody is coming to you or there's going to be someone who you confront or they confront you over a situation. Again, I don't think it's going to be a crazy situation, but you're going to have to really kind of follow your intuition with whatever they are telling you. This could very well be a, around love, I suppose. It could also be around family, money, anything of the sort. Yeah, it says angel of prayer. Ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance in this manner, whatever it is. And oh, wow. I, okay, so these cards, so we have all these cards flew out or flipped over, I should say. We have angel of support. So they're saying to ask the, the universe here and the angels for help and guidance here. And this says angel of support. The universe has heard your silent call for help here. So maybe you've been doing that. If you haven't, there's definitely a need to do that, especially this seems to me like a pretty big situation. I don't know why. That's just my feeling. Maybe it's something you've been waiting for. Or maybe it could also be something, honestly, that could make a major change in your life. So you're going to want to be very assertive with it. But also, also making sure you're reading between the lines is what I'm getting here. At the end here, we do have Angel of Union. Okay, it says a partnership is blessed and destined for greatness. Okay, so it could definitely be in regards to some kind of partnership that you're coming into. That could be business as well, but that could certainly also be romantic, okay? Let's see what this is about here. All right, so here, what else do we have in terms of this situation for my collective, please? Oh, yeah, this could be a situation where you actually felt there could have been some heartbreak or... Uh, deception around this or it could lead to this if this is fresh because it says it could turn into some kind of shocking attack here you may actually feel stabbed in the back or you could have in the past someone may actually be telling you that they like you okay it could come in very flirty um, wanting to date you wanting to take you on some kind of date or something like that I don't know why I'm feeling like you need to read between the lines on this okay uh self-indulgence here it looks like there might be someone here who's focused a lot on self maybe you've been doing some of your shadow work this could also be telling me this is a person that's within their shadow here but there's a need here honestly for a lot of self-appreciation here for loving oneself this may be a time for someone to heal you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of someone who this is why i don't do online dating honestly because i've just seen too many things with my employees and staff 
I just feel like, you know, a lot of people, they just go, they get in one relationship and then before it's done, they're looking for the next one because they're so freaking codependent and they're just dragging all of their BS to another relationship. It kind of gives me vibes of that. Okay. So maybe this is why they're saying, look, you need to pay attention to whatever is coming at out here. Okay. Because someone could be coming now, it doesn't have to be this way, but according to the cards, it could very well be, okay? Someone could be coming out of another situation. This could even be someone who you've been with, honestly. And you're really going to have to listen intently. But not only that, use your intuition in, in regards to what they're saying. And as well as the new person, whether it's old or new here, okay? Somebody might come on a bit strong here. But there could be something to this in essence. You could have already been hurt by this person or this person could be coming at you in some way to maybe um, deceive you. And I'm not saying intentionally, but again, going back to the scenario that I used because they have got baggage and they're not dealing with it. They're just kind of moving around. This person maybe needs to be doing some kind of shadow work here. That's good. Yeah, because maybe they feel like they're not enough. Okay. Somebody here could definitely be lacking confidence here. They could be a person who self-sabotages. They could have a lot of ego issues as well, a lot of fear issues. Okay, there's definitely a need for some kind of transformation here. You know, somebody could very well be coming back, okay? And they could want some kind of evolution in the, in the relationship. But they haven't really done, it looks like to me, any kind of shadow work here. All right. They still lack confidence. They still are in a lot of fear. It looks like um, they could still have jealousy issues, but it's not just that. I think they're just frustrated about where this relationship is. They just don't feel like they're enough. I'm telling you, there's something here about them not feeling like they are enough. So they may say the right things. But, I mean, you've got two cards here. And, and something else about you not holding back, you know, in a positive way, of course. You know, or I should say in a graceful way, if you can, okay? Angel of expression and angel of communication tells me that, yeah, you need to speak whatever is on your mind very clearly so that they understand. But it looks like this person's having some self-esteem uh, issues as well. Yeah. I think they're heartbroken. Definitely heartbroken here. This is somebody, I don't know what's going, going on in their life. Maybe they've had some kind of grief loss. I haven't gotten too much into it. They could be asking for some kind of support. You may end up being some kind of support system for them. Okay. Um, something about them mourning the loss of something, feeling deep, deeply hurt here, deeply uh, saddened here about some kind of separation here. It could be the separation from you. I don't know. Um, feeling a bit lost as well. Something's happened in this person's life, most definitely. I do think they're seeking out some kind of support here. It does say the universe has heard your silent call for help. They might be leading them to you, to be honest with you. But if you have beef with this person or, you know, kind of things that have happened before that are unresolved, I don't know how you're going to handle that. Maybe that's why we have the angels coming through so, so clearly. It's like they need to hear the truth. Right? Maybe they need to hear it, though, in a way that doesn't, like, run them off. Yeah. This person has some issues here in terms, and they may be trying to seduce you, to be honest with you, trying to make up with you in some way. But there is third-party in interferences, or there has been third-party interferences here. This person may have actually had some issues in terms of being easily seduced. All right? They may have some lust issues, honestly, where they can't control themselves or feel like they can't. Always an issue, right? That's a, to me, that's a very powerless position. So those things may be dragging. They may have actually gotten hurt by somebody in one of those situations or, or really duped by somebody. Yeah, but the thing is, just like when we all go through these tough times, they are there to show us something, right? They're, sh they're there to show us where we need to grow at. And the issue that I see the most here is, has this person done any growing here? Because I see that they're still kind of fighting some really bad self-esteem issues here. Yeah, separation. Yeah. 
So they might be upset about some kind of separation here. It could just be the separation between you and them, okay? There's definitely some missing you going on, some thinking of you, some yearning. This person could be very unsure about the future of you guys together, okay? They might be feeling some kind of intense connection as well. This could actually, honestly, if they've been through something or they're feeling some kind of loss or maybe, you know, the loss could be with a job or something like that. This person may be very much so reevaluating their life, what was important, who was important, those kind of things here. And now they're actually feel. if you guys are in some kind of separation, they could definitely be feeling the brunt of some kind of separation here. I do have healing heart on the bottom here, just so you know. That's weird because I broke them. Look, the Grim Reaper and healing heart. How interesting. The Grim Reaper is all about some relationship being over. No second chances, okay? It says grow and transform your life. And I feel like whatever this person has been through, this is their opportunity to really deal with all the, those shadows, those traumas, all of that stuff, and begin to really grow and change the butterfly effect, right? Uh, be accountable and really change on their own and, and evolve. Okay. And then it says healing heart, which is all about freedom from toxic relationship or, or addiction. They do need to go through some kind of healing, you know, so I don't know if, you know, if you're like, if you're steps ahead and I have a feeling you probably are, they probably want you to, I don't know, guide them. Maybe they feel like you could guide them. Honestly, I've had so many people screw me over in the past. I'm talking friends, workers, whatever. And every damn time they go through something, I swear they call me. I'm like, I can't even believe they have the audacity. But if you have that kind of energy, they will do that because they don't know who else to lean on. So I don't know if it's a situation like that. I'm not saying you have to answer. <laughs> Just saying it happens. Okay. I'm sure you've experienced it if you're an empath for sure. All right. Spirit. Let's see what else on this person. Maybe this is a worker, you know, and this is somebody who you wanted something with before, or maybe you were just friends and now this person is coming in with this energy of, well, I like you, you know, who knows? All right. Every story will be different, guys. Just take it as it resonates. Spirit, talk to me about this person who is coming towards the collective, please. What has been going on in their life? Tell me about this person for my collective, please. What's been going on in their life? Let me do a Celtic here. What's been going on in this person's life, please? Oh, okay. Well, they could have definitely lost some kind of money here. They could lack money here. Um, they may have lost some kind of... I said they could have lost a job, right? They could have lost some kind of financial control in a sense even a job for that matter yeah could have definitely been a job here this is the block here all right there's a lack of teamwork here is what this is telling me all right so it could have been uh, this could definitely be they lost some some kind of contract so it could have definitely been around work it could have been around obviously love in some way as well something toxic that wasn't working out yeah you can't make it up look at this at the death card here something definitely ended Okay, and it needed to end is what I'm getting. So in the, the recent past, again, there could have been a lot of malicious gossip around a situation, a lack of self-awareness here, okay, an unwillingness here to learn karmic lessons here with this judgment in reverse. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. So this is why this person is sitting out here. They're looking out. They're looking for guidance. They're looking for their ships to come in. Okay. They're, they may be actually moving or moving abroad or looking to you if you live uh, across water in some way. Okay. Yeah. This person has obtained some kind of freedom here from a situation that's ended. This could be some kind of contract. It could be a marital uh, contract. It could be a business contract. Uh, something along those lines here in a business that they were in and a job that they were in as well. Some kind of commitment that they were in. There could be a lot of gossip that's going on around this or that added to whatever this was. Because in the recent past, we definitely get that as well. Somebody stayed in something out of just not wanting maybe something new or feeling indecisive about how to move forward here. But the thing was, they lacked self-awareness. They were not learning some kind of karmic lessons here so this could have came in pretty unexpectedly okay pretty suddenly this big transition that they went through so maybe they knew there was the issues but they didn't expect something to end here right 
right. Yeah. So this person's just kind of looking out, trying to figure out here in the current, you know, uh, where to invest their time, where to, in, where to invest, um, yeah, where to invest their time here. This is definitely a card about just looking out, waiting for your ships to come in. This person may very well be wondering, you know, when their ships are going to come in for them. Okay, that's where they kind of lack, I think, uh, where it was saying not enough. Maybe they lack that, you know, maybe they lack um, self-confidence, I guess, in this moment, just due to other things that have happened here. This person could be also, though, planning, you know, that's definitely a card about foresight here, looking to the future, trying to put plans in action, maybe about their next step, what they're going to do now. In the near future, we really have someone that doesn't feel stable here, okay? They could definitely not feel a sense of security here. This person may be a bit reckless with their spending, or maybe they're recounting where they've been a bit reckless with their spending, with their behaviors here, with their investments here. Let's see what else. Oh. Yeah. See, this person feels a lot of self-doubt right now. All right. So they definitely are lacking confidence. They're feeling a bit inadequate here. Yeah. See, they want you to pull them out of it. That's what I'm telling you. They need a friend here. We have the Queen of Cups up right here, which is in their, in their arena of thought here. Okay. They're looking to somebody who's very empathic, like I talked about before, as someone who is probably quite intuitive, someone who has deep, sincere feelings that's very nurturing. Okay, to kind of help them, it looks like um, potentially to help them through a situation, maybe to be a teacher for them or a guide for them in some way through this very troubled time. Yeah, because they're trying to, their hope is here that they can actually sh uh, let go. Okay, of people, possessions, issues from the past here. Okay, they definitely want to shed the old. Okay. Um, and I think that is what their hope is. Maybe they've been unsuccessful at doing that thus far. Yeah. Yeah. And then the outcome is, you know, somebody who is kind of pushing forward here with optimism here. We have the page of wands here. So this person may actually, this could definitely be showing me that there's going to be a lot of communication coming up. Okay. Uh, this person could, the outcome could be that this person is able to do that. We're going to get some more, obviously we're going to clarify, but, uh, they're ready to push forward with courage, okay, with a lot of optimism here. Very eager to learn new stuff, whatever that may be. All right, so let's look at, move this down a little bit. All right, let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles in reverse spirit. What is this, this person's position of Ace of Pentacles in reverse? I think I know, but. Okay, this person may have lost a lot of money here because they were or lost some kind of commitment here because they were wanting they could have been wanting to move towards someone else here, honestly, uh, or this could just be telling me that they got involved in a love situation where. Yeah, where maybe they kind of invested all in in terms of their emotions or someone or something like that. I, t I don't know why I'm thinking this person, they may have lost something because they've been focused on a love situation here. So if this is someone from your past that wants to apologize or something like that, or wants to have a love offer, this could have been kind of the catalyst for what happened here. Let's clarify the three of coins, please. Definitely a lack though, definitely feeling the lack here of teamwork. Yeah. So the lack of teamwork here. Yeah, this, yeah, whatever this person was, <laughs> I'm just going to let you know this person, whatever they were in, they were not really invested in this. Okay. This is a person that definitely had their mind on. I don't know if they were being childish in a situation. They were thinking about another love offer. They weren't really investing properly in this. We already saw this here. Okay. Um, you know, they could have been very reckless, arrogant, okay, a bit of a daredevil, overconfident, something like that, okay, maybe they were promising a lot, but not delivering, and it definitely created some issues, let's clarify spirit, the death card, please, 
Now, this person seems a bit all over the place. And I saw that in these cards up here as well. So they could have been somebody. Honestly, if they were in this energy when you knew them, you could have felt stabbed in the back in the in the past. Or yeah, look, no freaking wonder. Yeah, so there's a lot of up, upheaval here, okay? And it's all due to this devil energy that they were in. So they could have very well felt like they were chained to the devil here. Maybe that's what they're trying to desperately leave behind. There could have been a lot of ego issues here. There could have been obsession. There could have been cheating, to be honest, with you and whatever this situation was here, if they're in some kind of other situation. Yeah, this was not, this was a very toxic situation is what I'm getting here. This is what's ending. Whatever this toxic situation was that was around them is definitely ending. It could have also been about sexuality. We saw that up here as well with seduction. Okay, they could have been seduced easily. They could be seduced easily. Okay, we do definitely see the, the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, they were definitely in some very low vibe and energy. And whoever was in this situation was probably also in this energy as well with them. Okay, so a lot of um, somebody's mental health could have actually been impacted by this as well here. Okay, this person with all of these not enough and, you know, feeling a lot of sadness and grief and all that stuff. It's funny because maybe this is you they're thinking about up here. I don't really know because I do see kisses, unconditional love. It's almost like whatever they were in was no longer sustainable because their mind could have definitely been elsewhere here. Okay, but instead of correcting it, they just kind of stayed in this energy. Yeah, they just kind of stayed in this energy here. And uh, so it could have actually come to like an abrupt ending. They could have been the one that was just like, I'm out. Or somebody could else, somebody else could have very well been like, get out of here, okay? I feel like this person, if I'm being honest with you, this is somebody who needs to have, they need to have like a lot of adulation, okay? So this person may really try have to have, you know, always be vying for someone else's attention. They may like to have a lot of attention. You know, maybe it's like some kind of life confirming thing for them because they don't have a lot of self-esteem. This definitely appears like fake self-esteem. This is probably a person that works on their body quite a bit too, potentially. Because they want to be noticed, they want to have others, and they probably show off as well because they want to be noticed, right? They definitely want to stand out for other people. The thing is, it's not, it's a false sense of self-esteem, you know? That's what I'm feeling here, okay? So they never really practiced, I feel like, a lot of uh, self-love. Um, they were looking for other people outside uh, to give them, you know what I'm saying, this recognition. And that, that's always going to be a dead end street. Okay, so in the, the recent past here, we already know that this person, there could have been a lot of malicious gossip about this person. This could have been a job, like I said, as well. All right, or another relationship here. There could have been a lot of malicious gossip in terms of that, but around this person or around this situation about their lack of self-awareness here, about the things that they were doing, about the recklessness here, about their willingness to learn any kind of karmic lessons here. I think this person knew, okay? I think they knew that. I think that they knew that there were things that had to be done. There was just an unwillingness to do it, okay? For whatever reason. Maybe they didn't want to dig deep into it. Um, maybe they were unhappy in their situation and whatever it was, it was just easier to stay chained to it. There were a lot of things hidden here as well. I think that this person may not have been seeing here with this high priestess card. This person could have also, I don't know if this person plays with defin divination, esoteric stuff. I feel like they could have been messing with that as well. I think this person knew there was stuff going on behind the scenes. They knew people were talking. They knew these things were happening. Maybe that also kept them chained to this devil, right? They probably had a lot of obsessive thoughts, looking over their shoulder, things like that. They knew things were really unstable. Interesting. All right, let's clarify this uh, three ones, please. 
Oh, wow. Three is clarified with the two. Yeah, so in their current position here, Yeah, you know what, this could also be telling me that this person has actually went from, this was in the recent past, self-doubt, all of this bad situation because of the ending so abruptly, they could be really leaning on their really higher, their higher intuition at this time, listening, all right, finally paying attention here, trying to discover some kind of truth, okay, about themselves, okay, not only those around them, but about themselves, this definitely shows me that something was yet to be revealed here, okay? And that is probably what they're looking for here, all right? They're definitely looking out to their future. This person was stuck. I'm just going to tell you. I don't know who was around them, what was around them. Sometimes we tie ourselves to a job that we hate, people we hate. I mean, people we don't get along with, and we just stay there because it's what we know. And I'm, I'm feeling some scenario like that. This person could definitely have some kind of decision to make now, understanding that they have two paths that they can take. Okay, they may feel like the grass, you know, if they chose this before, maybe they feel they're kind of afraid to take. I don't know if afraid is the right word. I think that they're kind of, yeah, I do. I don't know if it's afraid, as strong as afraid, but I do feel like there is some fear involved here. They don't want to make a mistake. Maybe that happened in the past. They might be thinking about making a big jump, moving, something like that, where they feel like they could get success somewhere else here. But they know now at this point, there is some kind of decision that will have to be made, okay? Because they definitely don't want to just assume the grass is greener elsewhere and then just run upon the same BS that they had before and all this devil energy, okay? All right, your future. Yeah, definitely not. But in the near future, honestly, I still see some issues going on for this person. I'm just going to tell you. There's just a, there's a collapse here. All right. Somebody will feel like there's some kind of ill will, you know, being, maybe being launched at them in some way. All right. They might feel like they're at some kind of disadvantage here. This person could actually feel disgraced too. I mean, I'm saying, I'm looking at the six of um, wands here, which is, you know, the card of victory, normally recognition. It's actually in reverse. So maybe all this gossip is leading to some kind of where this person actually does begin to really feel some kind of disgrace in their life. Like they, they are disgraced, like say if they lost a job or a marriage or something like that, they might be taking it pretty personal. We can never, I'm, I'm just going to tell y'all, we can never over identify with things to the point where we start just killing ourselves when it goes away. That is life. Okay. Things change. And I know we do it, and it is a good time for reassessing, but man, I, I see so many people just really get down on themselves, and that's not who you are, okay? That's what you do in the moment, okay? And we're always changing and shifting what we do, so don't ever over-identify yourself that much with that, all right? All right, so we have, this person will definitely feel, I think that they're going to feel... It's interesting here. This person, <laughs> I don't know who's in their life. It might feel like they're being hunted too. I don't know why. Maybe this is like people. It could be exes here. People, I don't know if they screwed over people. If this is bill collectors, I don't really know. This person is definitely going to feel like they are in some sense, some sense of failure here, unfortunately. Okay. They're really going to be trying to find themselves here in the near future. I see that they're having a moment right now of really kind of looking around. So maybe everything that's happening, the magnitude has not fully set in uh, at this point. Yeah, let's clarify this um, strength card here in reverse. I definitely know this person is feeling very inadequate, okay? They may feel a lack of confidence at this point, yeah. And they're feeling like they're having to sell away, okay? They they have to sell away from these troubled waters here. They have to get away from this storm here so that they can actually find some kind of healing, some kind of progress here in their life. Let's clarify the Queen of Cups, please, upright. Queen of Cups, upright here. Who is it? Okay, come to me. Yeah. Say, this might be, this got to be you. I mean, this is somebody that they definitely feel 
This is interesting because I think this is difficult for this person here. This is somebody who could have been, you guys could have been in a standoff for sure. Okay. This is a person that is definitely folding on that. Okay. This is somebody who is giving in uh, to a situation, wanting to talk about a situation. They could be admitting some kind of defeat maybe in their life. Maybe they're telling you this because you've You've told them this. Maybe you've told them that if they continued along this path or down this road, you know, that it would continue to be that way. Maybe you told them that they needed to pick, you know, choose a side, <laughs> you know, um, something here. Because this person is definitely admitting that, you know, the things that have gone on here. And I think you're going to see that they can feel quite defeated. I'm going to tell you something. This person is can be very cocky. This is going to be a difficult position for them most definitely here. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. So they're definitely trying to shed the old here. Again, they're going to try and let go of the people, the possessions, the issues. Okay. They feel like maybe they're paying some kind of karmic retribution at this time. Okay. This is some kind of karmic uh, retribution. It could be letting go of a lot of dishonesty. You know, a lot of things they feel were unjust here. There could have even been corruption that was certainly involved, but this person understands, you know, they had a lot of karmic avoidance in this as well. Okay. I think their hope is that they can be, I feel like they need your help. I'm just going to say that again. I don't know why I get that the strongest. That's something about your leadership. So maybe you're there. Maybe you were their boss or maybe you were some kind of maybe you're just some kind of leader for them in the past or someone who kind of I don't know. I want to say showed them the way. Um, you you lit things up for them in some way. You spoke the truth. Maybe you're still speaking speaking the truth, and they know that, so they know they can come to you for that. Let's clarify. Uh, the fourth cycle. Yeah. This person's got something for you, though. I mean, I'm just telling you, something's happened here because they feel very good about this. They're going through a lot. There is a lot of shifts. There's a lot of changes. There's a lot of doubts. There's a lot of beating themselves up. It looks like lacking confidence after a pretty destructive period. I got to be honest with you. Okay. But whatever happens here towards the end, turning this stuff around, them being accountable, it looks like it's going to turn out good here. This person's going to want to make some kind of romantic proposal here, okay? They definitely want to take some kind of action here, following their heart, which I like. I don't know that they were doing that before. I don't see anything to indicate that. So you may already feel like this person is coming into your life, coming back into your life. Maybe they're already in touch here with the Page of Wands. So maybe you already are aware of what I'm talking about here or what is actually coming to you. Hmm. This is why the angel started off very adamantly about speaking your truth. Although this person is going through something, don't be sidelined with what your truth is and what you need to say about the situation. And about maybe what they did to you, too. I mean, this is the time to get it all out. It looks like in the open, regardless of what you decide to do with it. I don't usually beat a person when they're down, but that's just me. <laughs> I can't do it. Okay. But at the same token, I mean, I would definitely tell them what's, you know, my feelings, how I feel about the situation. Like, I'm not just going to let it slide. So... I, I think you had two cards saying that and also to read between the lines because some things may not be coming out in the open. Some things are not going to be shared here. person definitely may be having some kind of money issues, right? Yeah, right now, currently. This card is interesting because it tells me that and it tells me somebody coming in, right, as well here towards the end here. Wanting to really, regardless of how they come in, really, they they feel romantic about you. They have feelings for you. Okay, but the truth is they can't really even take you and do the things they want to right now because they, they are suffering some kind of financial loss. All right. All right, spirit, what else here? Yeah, there's a lot of secrets here. That's what this card was about. Paying attention to your intuition because there's a lot of things that are being hidden here. They need to come out. You're not getting the full story. They, it's like they don't want you to know. 
And they could even be scared that you will find out in some situation about something that has taken place here. You know, we did see corruption on there a couple of times. And I'm just going to say that I just dropped a bunch of cards. So I'm going to pick them back up and, and shuffle. But, you know, it could have something to do with that. It could have something to do with corruption or some kind of legal stuff. Maybe they don't want you to think less of them or... If they've been out here doing the most, they may not want you to know that, to what extreme that has been as well. Yeah, but they're definitely, this person's going to want to chase you. All right, they don't want to leave you alone. Okay, so I think they're going to keep trying. See, that's what I'm saying. Somebody here could have got themselves locked up or in some kind of legal issue here. All right. Um, that could be what the thing is. This could be what they're trying to keep from you, what they don't want you to know. All right, but I'm telling you, this person has a look at all these cards that are coming out 100 cards, and you're getting a lot of romantic ones as well. All right, this person wants to show you some kind of romantic gesture here. <sighs> Maybe they thought a lot about this. The very first card out was the page. Okay, it was the page of cups, and that is somebody who has this newfound feelings, okay, of love, of devotion. Yeah, this person is saying, you don't have to be scared. I'm not like the others. But if you have a past with them, I mean, I think that's, you know, that's something that's going to have to be proven in some way. I feel like that came up in last night's as well. They were in one of the collective readings last night, I feel. Yeah, so you're, you're definitely going to have some kind of trust issues, I think, when it comes to this person here. All right. And they're going to have a lot of trust issues, too. They're not coming in scot-free because they haven't done their work. They may have done some of their work, but they have a long way to go here. I think they're really fighting a battle here. I, I hate to keep leaning on this, but it keeps coming up to me. So, I mean, I have to keep saying it. This is all about um, shining some light for this person. I don't know why. I don't. Maybe you're their mentor. I don't know. But they feel romantic about you if that is the case. They're going to need some direction. They're going to need some. Uh, maybe they don't have people around them that are, maybe they can't trust the people around them. Maybe that's what it is. The people around them are the ones that let them down. Okay. Yeah. See, look, you may feel like you can't trust this person. Okay. I can't trust you. You hurt me time after time. I've already learned my lesson. I'm not going backwards. This is falling on. No more chances is falling on other trust issues here. Okay. They have trust issues, but so do you because they hurt you as well with their behavior. You may have actually already moved on to some kind of new love here as well. Okay. This new love is, you know, very creative and this person is intelligent and they communicate. All right. Very smart person. It's like they got it together too. Yeah, something about you leveling up as well. Something about you has really changed here in this situation. Maybe you have a new career. Or maybe you're just very financially stable, new things, new home, new car, whatever. But you're making money and it looks like you're just leveling up. Maybe even spiritually as well. Yeah. Maybe somebody here has got some kind of results back from some kind of test that they've taken or something like that due to health. A health issue or a health scare, and it says nothing to worry about here. But of course, consult a physician. I'm reading a card. I'm not a physician. Okay. Yeah. See, this person's kind of they're they're just confused. You know, that's the thing. It's like they need direction. I don't think they have anyone in their life. They're saying, "What did I do wrong? I don't know what what I did or how to fix it." I think their life has been spinning out of control. They've been in this toxic energy, maybe around toxic people. Um. And uh, these behaviors were just accepted to some degree or, you know, people just, it, I feel like they just almost get addicted to this crazy drama or this toxicity as well. They just start thriving in it. And then they're like, wait, what happened? What, what did I do? Well, you know, something obviously spun out of control, but they don't seem to know what it is. All right. Yeah, but I think you found somebody new or you are finding someone new here, to be honest with you. This is ready for love. This is no game. Somebody here wants to have commitment here. They're emotionally available. The person that is coming towards you, they know how to treat a partner. Meanwhile, you have somebody else over here that is really confused here about why their life is so shaken up. This is kind of a sad story, honestly. Everybody goes through this to some degree, I think, but... I don't know. 
This could have been social media or something like this that got this person in trouble, actually. They could have been dating people from social media. A lot of people, honestly. Um, yeah, this person could also be really watching your social media as well. They could be reading your comments as well. Something like that. They may know that you're in a new relationship or that you're entertaining new people, that you're dating new people, or that you've made some upgrades for sure here. All right. So, yeah, they've had so many addictions here. They could drink a lot. They could smoke a lot for sure with these addictions here. This has been part of their issue here. Yeah, this says open. I'm an open book. I have nothing to hide. This is definitely not this person right here. I do feel they're going to be keeping some things for you, unfortunately. They may come to you with this, though, saying, you know, whatever you need to know, I'm going to tell you that sort of thing. But I don't know. Spirit has been real clear up here about you got to kind of read between the lines with this person. Uh, could this be a kid as well? I don't know. Maybe this could be like a one of your children or somebody in your family, an old friend. Yeah, you're. I, I just feel like you're off to new things, to be honest with you. I really do. Somebody definitely is wanting to provide some kind of love for you, um, some kind of attention for you. This is somebody that's really going to show you. It looks like a lot here with this card that they are interested. All right, that they're interested, that they're in this. Okay, maybe somebody that wants to spend some time with you, spend time together. Uh, loves being with you you guys could have so much fun together this could be somebody who keeps an eye on you as well i feel like two people are doing that here all right spying on you this might be the past person here we just talked about that spying on your social media here being very sneaky trying to see if you're actually with someone else that's probably probably also why they are looking through your comments here they definitely feel like you're getting some kind of um you're getting other attention here yeah this says winter season. This is very desolate, okay? You probably reached your point here where you were tired of being alone, okay? You wanted someone in your life that knew your worth, so you began to focus in that direction and open that door to new people, all right? Yeah. This is, all right. I mean, honestly, I feel bad for the person, but I also feel like... And I do know that things have to happen for a reason, okay? I don't want to come across too judgmental because I do know they have to happen for a reason. I think this person, though, they wasted a bunch of time. And maybe it just wasn't their time to grow. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but hopefully they will definitely get it this time. Look, you've got a ring here. All right, commitment. Somebody's going to want some kind of commitment with you. All right, somebody could come in proposing something. Now, remember, we already saw this for this person as well. They could be the one coming in proposing something like marriage, but you have somebody brand new here. All right, somebody without legal issues. It looks like somebody who's doing very well on their own. Hmm. Could have a Taurus in the mix here. You could be a Taurus, yeah. Hmm. You know, there's that snake card. Again, you know, I, I just think that this person, especially with the cards down here, which told me that they might have people after them or still around them that's not been cut off completely, or maybe they just have some kind of possibly vendetta or something. And, you know, it literally said hunting someone down, okay? They could have some people here that are just treacherous, okay, deceitful, all this devil energy here, people that feel like this person belongs to them or feels like this person owes them in some way, you know, and that's what they're not really sharing everything with you is what I'm feeling here. This person also could have some very jealous tendencies as well. And honestly, snake card tells me about temptation. Okay. They may still have the same temptations. If you've not dealt with your demons, you're still going to be doing the same things, period. Okay. So uh, they got to deal with all that shadow stuff. I don't care how big the proposal is, all right? It's not going to make things right if they're if they're still in this energy, straight up, okay? Could be dealing with a Scorpio. It's going to have to be a Scorpio. Yeah. Interesting, yeah. So I have a visitor here, but it's actually in reverse here. We have messages and news that's being delayed in a situation. 
Yeah, we had the moon and the tunnel. Yeah, so there's a lot here. There's definitely a lot of emotions going on here up underneath the surface, okay? Uh, this person could be... Yeah, they could have a lot of fears right now. They might merely be fantasizing about you or coming towards you or how to approach you or something like that. But it's really the fear of the changes, I think, that are happening here of the unknown. Could be dealing here with a Cancer here. I also have Aquarius and Capricorn. Somebody here may be trying to really listen to their intuition. We saw that over there as well, really trying to tune in. That's why I almost think that you're like a mentor or a teacher for somebody here. Although I strongly feel you, they, they have something for you. Maybe you weren't an actual relationship here in the past. They know, I feel like they know they can come to you because you're going to have that wisdom. You're going to have kind of that know-how. What you choose to do with it, of course, it's always up to you. Yeah, somebody may be journeying towards you here, okay? I just feel like there's going to be, with the tunnel energy, there's things that are going to be hid here, okay? They're not going to say everything here. You may not even see it coming with the moon and the tunnel together, okay? But somebody is definitely going through some kind of dark times, and maybe that's what they hide from you. Maybe they don't tell you everything because they don't want you to know the extent of how it's taken a toll on them as well. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, there's some kind of completion that's happening here. Some kind of death, some kind of painful change. This may be you just kind of shutting down this whole thing, saying, I'm moving. This is Leo energy as well. I'm moving on uh, to someone else. I've met someone else. I'm happy with someone else. Or um, I just don't want to go down this road. I'll be there for you. Whatever it is that you say. Yeah, I think that you something here is is completing. And maybe this is them also telling you that something in their life is has actually completed. All right. That they're feeling some sense of defeat, but um it's finally done. You know, something is done. Yeah. And this person, I mean, you could actually feel like home to this person, to be honest with you. I think they do view you as home. They view you as, again, I'm going to go back to someone who leads. You must lead others. you got to inspire others in some way. All right. Or maybe you've inspired them in the past. You could just be a wealth of knowledge for them. They do feel a sense of comfort and stability. Okay. With you, they feel, it's almost like. If they're used to a hectic life, maybe when they get in your presence, that's when they actually feel a sense of calm, okay? They might be telling you something that they've ended here. Could be around a family dynamic as well. Could also involve some kind of home. Maybe they were living in the home with their family or something. Yeah, because then we have the tree, okay, which is all about uh, ancestry, right? Deeply rooted, okay? Someone who you've known for, for a long time. That's Virgo energy as well. So this could have been going on for a long time. This could go way back for, for this person. Some very, very heavy conditioning, okay? Very heavy conditioning that they're coming out of. Honestly, I applaud them, all right? I just, I know that they have to do their work, though, and it won't be easy, but they have to do it. All right, let's see what else. I can tell you from experience when you when you are in that energy for so long, it doesn't just end there. OK, although you're making strides to get away, it will slowly happen. Uh, but it is definitely a process. And you're very often, far too often, actually dealing okay, with a lot of um, you know, a lot of the residual stuff, right? That is still kind of going on behind the scenes, the residual energy. And that's what I think is happening here. You seem to have a kind of peaceful life. Um, you're very in tune with things. Uh, you're obviously moving forward. You're in a much better energy. And you could have been really destroyed by this in the past, really felt stabbed in the back here, a lot of heartbreak. And I think you've made it through that. So I don't think you're going to want a lot of negative energy dragging into your life or to be a part of it to that degree. Yeah, it says right here, beware of self-delusion. See, you, be honest with yourself. Sometimes we want something so bad. Okay, we've thought about it for so long, you know, that we've convinced ourselves that it's right. We're not even looking at all the factors that are really involved here. So be careful with that, please. Mm, okay, come here, card. Love. Yeah. 
If I'm being honest with my feelings here, I mean, I, I do think there is love here. That might be the hardest part here. That might be the hardest part here. Rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. I'm telling you. That's your person. All right. And that was their issue in the past. And that might be why they have people um, that are still very much so connected with them. People give away their sexual energy too freely anyway. That's a very powerful energy. And, uh, you know, you should be just throwing that out to everybody. This is boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So this might be you going into a new direction. This could also be, you know, obviously for the person as well. They need to do some work. They need to do some work on themselves if they want to actually make these changes that they're needing. They need to be facing down these demons, taking full accountability for the things in their life right now. Yeah, it says, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. I don't know why I'm feeling like that's you. And I think it's because we started out originally with speak your truth and express yourself clearly, as well as uh, communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. So whatever this opposing thing is, be the bull. You know what I'm saying? It says show strength and fortitude. Don't back down from any opposition in this situation. And, you know, it could be somebody like dragging or, or other people trying to come into your life or telling you, especially if this person was married or something like that, maybe trying to keep you away from them. A fair woman can be involved here. Dylan's a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Okay. Ego, yeah. You will find triumph, though, any kind of trouble over any kind of troubles or obstacles here is what it looks like, okay? Maybe that's why they're saying stand up for what you believe, don't back down. You could already have that kind of opposition, honestly. If this person is someone who's been on your mind, but maybe you're finally releasing or letting them go or something like that, you could already be dealing with opposition, especially if they have karmics around them, okay? Um, it says crown, honor and respect will come to you. Absolutely. All right. I think you got to keep doing whatever it is that you're doing. I started off here saying too, you may have some kind of platform or something along those lines where you are actually speaking the truth. Um, obviously keep doing that, telling the truth. Don't back down. Okay. Especially if people are trying to get you to stop doing that. Somebody might feel like you're pulling some person to you. Or something, but I feel like whatever you're doing, you are well respected. Um, you are honored. Okay. And I think that's just going to increase for you. Yeah. We have finger warning warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Yeah, absolutely. I think we've already talked about and then casket. Something going out of your life or the end of a situation. So you're going to find yourself. I think you are going to be walking away from this situation. Whoever I'm talking to, that's clearly not going to, um, that's not going to resonate for a lot of you guys. But some of you guys have already kind of made up your mind or you are. You know that, you know, you feel beyond this energy. You know that it's not healthy uh, to stay connected with it. I mean, I'm sure you'll have compassion and maybe you'll even be here for somebody to assist them. But you know this is not really something you want to be dedicated to, right? Somebody needs to just do their work. I think I'm just going to leave it there. But let me see if there's any last minute. Let's see. Let's see if I have a deck over here for last minute advice, maybe. Let's look at these. Okay. Let's see if these can give me any last minute advice, spirit. I must feel so much compassion for this, but I also, I mean, just thinking about you, Collective, I feel like you, honestly, you've worked so hard to get to where you are, and this would, this may also feel like going backwards. Yeah, it says, the difficult path is being revealed. Ask for help and learn that we are all connected, okay? I think that's absolutely what's happening here. Somebody's going to ask you for help. I'm telling you, they see you as a teacher, a mentor, somebody that can actually get them through a situation, provide them with the knowledge. All right. It says live playfully and with a light heart. Listen to the voice of your inner child. I love that. So staying in that beautiful light energy. And then this reading got a little bit heavy. So 
you know, moving forward, enjoying your life, you know, getting all of this drama and chaos that you may have been drugged through unexpectedly in the past out of the way. And it does say success and happiness are coming. Enjoy and celebrate life. Good things are definitely coming. It says follow the path to your soul and listen to what the bottom says. Do not allow anyone or anything to stop you. Hallelujah. All right, guys, that is wonderful. That's a wonderful way to close. And I think I'm going to equate that to this as well. Others trying to come in maybe to get you to stop talking, spreading a message. Don't do it. Follow your path. That's what you're being guided to do. Always follow spirit, not these fools. All right, that's what I have for you guys collective. Hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.